close your eyes. Make any micro adjustments to your body so that you have permission with yourself to fully relax now. Disengage from what you have going on out in the world. And know that this little time that you take out for yourself, how essential it is to your well-being, how essential it is for you to be able to go back out into the world and do your service, whatever it is that you are called to do in this lifetime. This is your time to rejuvenate, your time to reconnect into what is most important, which is your connection to spirit, your connection to your spiritual self. So take this time out with permission to go deep, following the breath into the body, allowing the breath to relax with ease and grace, moving in and out of your body, just observing that breath. And in, if any little distractions come into your brain, just acknowledge the brain for having the capacity to think, because it serves you very well most of the time. And sometimes, when you want it to turn off, it continues thinking, because that's what it does. It's a thinking machine. So just acknowledge it for being that and thank it for taking care of you and then bring your attention back to your breath. Remember, if any extraneous thoughts come into your mind and distract you, you'll remember to bring your attention back to your breath easily and effortlessly. Breathe. And allow your tailbone to drop down into the earth. Allow it to reach downward into the earth. Like roots spreading through the soil, through the sediment, down through the layers of soil and dirt. Allow roots to grow out of the bottoms of your feet, reaching down into the earth, toward the center of the earth. Allow your belly to drop into the earth, connecting in with the belly of Mother Earth. And as those roots reach downward through the layers of granite, through crystalline caverns, through underground lakes, past underground streams and rivers, reaching down, down, down toward the center of Mother Earth as your belly falls down into the belly of Mother Earth, connecting in with your source of physical life, reaching down, and as those roots make their way to the center of the Earth, they will find something there to hold on to, and I don't know what it's going to be for you. could be a beautiful large sphere, could be molten rock, lava, could be a great heart. It could be a reflection of the cosmos in the center of the earth. Whatever is there, allow your roots to weave their way into a substantial connection And as you exhale, allow your heart center to make a connection with the center of the earth, 
feel the love that you have for all of the little things that we often overlook that Mother Earth provides for us. All the water that we drink, all the food that we eat, all the beautiful plants and the flowers that we admire, the clouds in the sky, the beautiful mountains and trees, all of these things are gifts. Allow yourself to feel a deep appreciation for all these gifts that you have received along with your life from Mother Earth. She loves you so deeply. And if you were to allow yourself to create a space in your heart, she will send her love back to you. And so as you inhale, draw that love and light back up into your heart center, into that special place. And with your exhale, allow your love for Mother Earth to fill her. It's a beautiful symbiotic relationship as you inhale and breathe her love for you into your heart center and breathe out your love for her in and out breathe creating this beautiful circular motion of breath with the center of the earth with the spirit of mother earth how beautiful it is to feel this connection When you're ready, I invite you to bring your attention, your focus, into the center of the head. Bringing your focus into the center of the head and starting to breathe into the center of the head. Filling that space with your focus, filling that space with your breath. And your head is the other end of this tree of life that you are. Allow yourself to grow branches up out of your head, reaching up into the sky, the night sky, filled with billions upon billions of stars in every direction. And these branches form smaller branches that divide in form smaller branches and divide and form smaller branches reaching in every direction until there are just little twigs at the ends of all those branches and the stars in the night sky are like leaves on the branches of this tree of life that you are and this blanket of stars that you are connected to is a great tapestry of consciousness, the history of life as it exists throughout the universes, and you are woven into it as a key player upon the stage of life. And we are minuscule in comparison to the vastness of this space and yet this space is us and we are creating it at the same time it wouldn't exist if we didn't exist so as you exhale Send your appreciation out into this fabric of consciousness for being so perfectly and intricately woven 
and that it creates endless numbers of possibilities for our spirit to experience itself. countless permutations of life that our spirit gets to enjoy and experiment with because this fabric exists. Send your appreciation to it, your love to it, because it can't exist without you and it can't exist without your love. All of life depends upon you. As fantastic as that sounds, it is the truth. And as you inhale, this consciousness also has purpose because it has you. Make a space in your heart as you inhale and breathe that love that consciousness has for you back into your heart center. Again, creating this beautiful circular motion of breath as you exhale, allowing your love and appreciation for all of creation to move outward with your breath, substantiating that tapestry of creation. And upon the inhale, drawing that love and appreciation that creation has for you back into your heart center. Breathe follow the energy, the joy, the love and appreciation in this beautiful symbiotic relationship that you have with all of life. ready, remember your connection to Mother Earth, and start to breathe from the heart center and the head center simultaneously, with each exhale sending your love into the tapestry of creation and into the belly of Mother Earth, and as you inhale, drawing your love back to you that Mother Earth has for you, that the tapestry of creation has for you. Focus on doing these two things simultaneously. Breathing in from two places, breathing out to two places simultaneously in the presence of love and appreciation. Breathe. up a little bit. Holding the space in your heart center, I'd like for you to imagine a staircase going down. Feel your feet at the top of the staircase. See what the staircase is made from colors that you notice, and we're going to descend down that staircase, ten steps, counting backwards from ten, stepping down a step to nine, going deeper, stepping down into eight, another step deeper down to seven, and letting go into 
a dark cave, stepping down step six. There's a glow at the bottom of the staircase as you step down to step five. You see it at the bottom of the staircase as you step down going even deeper into step four. Letting go a little bit more as you watch the glow of the cave beneath you get brighter and closer as you step down to step three. Going down even further into step two. Down, down to step one. You can feel the dirt beneath your feet as you walk into this cave and there's a fire glowing. A beautiful fire. And you go and sit in front of the fire. Just enough to feel its warmth and radiance upon your face. You can hold your palms up to it and warm your hands. And you stare into the flames, letting the fire speak to you. This beautiful, warm, ancient element that holds the presence of color, esoteric color, the radiance of the spectrum from infrared to ultraviolet light and everything in between the red, orange, yellow spectrum the green and blue spectrum the indigo and violet spectrum of light and this light radiates from flames of this ancient fire And you get the sense of how this fire burns inside of you. It is the fire of life. It is life. It is spirit as it chooses to come into matter. Allow yourself to connect in with this fire. This primordial flame that burns and is never extinguished. You are in the presence of the eternal light, the eternal flame, the eternal fire, as it transmits spirit throughout the universe to all of life, to all the galaxies and all of the planets that harbor the element of fire as a force of light. Allow that life and that light from that eternal flame to glow and grow inside of you and feel its warmth, how it illuminates your mind, creating thought, how it illuminates your blood flow, how it illuminates your diaphragm to move, to enable the lungs to breathe, to enable the digestive system to function, this beautiful fire that instructs your body on how to be alive, and it does the same for Every living creature that you come into contact with, feel the fire of life, the flame of creation burning inside of you, and show your appreciation to that fire within you. Thank it, for it is how your spirit, your soul, comes into matter, into human form, this primordial fire. 
And when you have it awakened inside of you, I invite you to stand up and walk back toward the stairs, but then walk beyond them. And as you continue walking through the dimly lit cave, you'll see that there's a new light up ahead, a bluish light. You're coming to the entrance of this primordial cave, and you come out onto a beach, and you turn left, and you walk out toward the ocean. You can hear the sound of the waves. As you walk out into the water, the warm water of a beautiful tropical beach, blue and white crystalline waves crashing before you. And now you walk and you are waist deep in this water, this beautiful, warm, tranquil water, still holding the fire of life within your heart center. As you continue walking out into the waves, they're crashing over you, and you descend into the depths of the water. And just like magic, you can breathe and see. And you see the stillness as you get deeper and deeper out into the water, the beautiful white sands beneath your feet, each footstep kicking up a little bit of sand. And you see the beautiful creatures that swim in the ocean, beautiful colorful fish, starfish beneath you, coral growing out of the rocks as you walk deeper and deeper into this beautiful ocean that magically illuminates itself for you so that you can see all the beautiful blues and greens and all of the sea life, the fauna growing from the floor of the ocean. As you look up, you notice that you're getting much deeper into the ocean, much deeper, and how beautiful it feels to be in this aliveness. The motion of this ocean reminds you so much of being in your mother's womb, being cared for, and loved, and blessed, and nurtured, and you realize that you can be innocent once again, in the water, feeling the vibration, the primordial vibration that runs through and moves through all of creation. The vibration that takes color, the color of fire, and gives it form, gives it personality. Water is the element of your emotions, of energy. Energy and emotions move through vibration. And you are connected to every vibration that you create and have ever created. Just like water never disappears, it changes form. We exist now with the same water that was on this planet two billion years ago. It's the same water in a different phase, in a different part of the planet. The oceans evaporate into the clouds in the sky and rain back onto the earth and are collected in the rivers and drunk by the animals and the plants and evaporated back out into the air or run out to fill the oceans. The same water in different forms at different times. And you are a part of this because that same element courses through your veins and your arteries 
is to and from your heart. Element of water is that fluidity that causes your blood to carry nutrients to every part of the body to keep it healthy. You are 70% water, like the earth is 70% water. Enjoy the vibration, the beautiful life-giving substance that all of life needs more than anything else. It is initiated with the element of fire and it lives by the element of water. And when you're ready, down here, at that perfect place, at the bottom of the ocean, I invite you to sit down. And remove some of the fire from your chest, the fire of life, and place it in front of you. And allow it to burn in the water. flames as they dance before you in the element of water bringing life and what sustains life together in harmony. you on the floor of this vast ocean a hole begins to open up it starts as a small hole and it grows bring the fire back into you and you bring the water with you and you fall into the earth down beneath the ocean you can feel the sides of this cavern with your hands as you descend deeper into the earth it's dark but it feels very safe as if you're going back in time becoming a child becoming a baby becoming an infant and moving back into the womb of your mother feeling her heartbeat, listening. Boom, 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 boom. It's the heartbeat of life. You recognize it because it is made from the elements of fire which brings spirit into matter and it is sustained by the element of water which gives it sustenance and longevity but it can't exist without the element of earth because it needs somewhere to land feel safe and comfortable and cared for as if 
once again you can let go and just be without any pretense without any action without need once again moving into innocence and the element of earth closes in on you and cares for you sustains you comforts you like a warm mud bath where your body feels nourished and it requires nothing of you which allows you to feel great peace within you every cell uses that light as its instruction set to know how to make a human being with the element of earth earth is the intelligence earth is the light of creation front of you, a space behind you, a space to the left of you, a space to the right of you, the space above you, and the space below you. And this space stretching in all directions that you can see stretches into infinity and it is filled with air the exquisite invisible element of air. And this space is so vast, it moves in every direction into infinity. You can't see where air ends and where it begins. 
You can never see air. You only see what it does. As the wind blows the trees and the grasses. As the smoke that rises twists and turns and billows. How the clouds build up into giant cumulus crowds or how they spread out thinly like stratus clouds. This element of air is primordial sound. A sound that is carried on the breath of spirit as it moves into matter and back out once again. Sound that is audible to the ears and is audible in your thoughts. Sound is the vehicle of the language that you use to talk to yourself. Sound that distinguishes one frequency from another, one organ in your body from another, one color from another. This element of air gives life to your body. Through your lungs, it is the first energy that enters the human form. It is the first energy by which all other energies derive their strength. When you have potent air and lung capacity, your ability to move blood through your body is improved. When you have capacity for air through strong, powerful lungs, you can move food and liquid through your body. All energy interchanges are dependent upon the element of air. And air carries intelligence that sound uses to define vibration that is held in the element of water. Air moves the element of fire to help it have form. It takes the primordial color of fire and moves it through sound via frequency and is catalyzed by the most powerful, the king or queen of the elements, air. Air determines the power of fire. Without air, fire will be small. When you feed fire air, fire grows. Air decides the movement of water. If water will be still, or will it rage in a storm? Will it be a torrent? of rain? Will it be a tsunami of waves? It's all dependent upon the element of air. And as those elements move through the element of light, of earth, air moves the earth. It causes this planet to rotate It catalyzes the movement of continents. It shapes the mountains. And it produces 
electricity. And all of the mountain ranges on the planet are shaped by, created by, substantiated by lightning, which is the element of air combining with fire, water, and earth to ensure that intelligence is capable and able to inform everything that it touches through consciousness. The life of trees, flowering plants, edible plants, animals, two-legged and four-legged and winged all depend upon this invisible element of air. So I invite you to recognize how all these elements are moving through your body interchangeably creating life. Each breath, every color, every sound, and all light that you perceive, these primordial elements have come together to give you life. And as you leave this physical form, one day, you will merge back in with those elements in a new way. And I invite you to call upon your spirit helper now, whoever that may be, male, female, male and female, animal form, angelic form, light form, where it is that you go when you leave human form, when you return back home, that spiritual being that is waiting for you, ask them to be with you now. And to help you integrate at an even deeper level these four elements and their primordial counterparts fire, color, water, vibration, earth, light, air, and sound, using your breath, the most powerful element, breathe them all together into your center, breathing in and out of that center, Filling yourself with light, sound, and vibration, love, fire, and creation. Breathe. Integrate. Ask your spirit helper to take it to another level with you. Deepen and expand, deepen, and expand. Breathe. Allow your light to shine. Allow your vibration to radiate out into the universes. 
allow yourself to sound that note that is your energy signature radiate the entire spectrum of the rainbow of color in and around and through and out into the universe you are a powerful being and the universe could not exist without you breathe 